Hello everyone, um, just a little thing I wanted to say before we get started is you have a lot of freedom with this build so don't feel the need to copy this build piece by piece. This is not as precise as my other one where you basically needed to use all the items I had to use or else you, it wasn't going to turn out how I showed in the video. And in this build I honestly changed a lot of things the last time I saw it, or you guys saw it. Um, I don't have certain buildings anymore and I put more plants or little trinkets here and there. Uh, but honestly, it's up to you how you want to build this. I'm basically just giving you guys a simple layout. And if you guys want to add stuff, move stuff or whatever, that's completely up to you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll be talking about these things throughout the video. So don't feel like you're you're in the left in the blank about what I'm talking about. I'll be talking about it more. So feel free to watch. And thank you guys for your support as always. Thank you guys for making me reach almost a thousand subs. I honestly didn't think this would be such a big deal, but thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, I'm just kind of showing you guys what we're kind of aiming for. Um, you can honestly replace the big building with whatever you want. I replaced the shrine with this one just because it kind of went with everything else that I used. And I kind of wanted to go for a hotel beach kind of thing. Um, but we're going to start off with the two biggest things that I feel like will get us started and help us place things where they belong, which is going to be the lighthouse and the giant tree. Oh, as I said before, you're going to have a lot of freedom with this build, but to kind of get us started, uh, I like to place this down to where that second pile of rocks is and kind of just align it with it. Um, it doesn't have to be precise because we're going to end up changing some stuff in later on in the video anyway, so don't feel like you got to align it perfectly. Just kind of like start building the, the structure of everything. That way you kind of know where to place housings and everything. Um, instead of making a giant list of items, I'm just going to start doing this where I circle how many you need of each item. That way you guys don't have to go back and forth between the comments and the video. Uh, but yeah, you're going to need three houses of each for this. Um, you can honestly put more if you want. Uh, there's enough room in the boat for it. But I used three of each just because I thought it looked nice. Um, as you kind of start building around the housing and the structure, you can want to adjust the lamps. That way you don't forget about them and it doesn't mess you up with uh, the stuff we're going to put on later on. I will say the only thing you need to keep the same is make sure you have this second lamp next to the house. That way it doesn't get in the way of the staircase that the second house is going to provide. Uh, if you want to make sure that you place the staircase in the right spot, uh, make pay attention to the two houses and the lighthouse. In the back, it should look like there's a little square space, which is what you're going to need, honestly, because we're going to put some stuff there later on. Uh, as I said before, you, you can have a lot of freedom to do whatever you want with this build. Uh, the biggest thing right here is how long you want to make the beach. I personally want to make it this long. Uh, the only thing I would do right here is just I want to make the house face this way. That way we kind of have a different perspective on the house. And it doesn't just look like we use the same house over and over again. Um, but right here, like I chose to make my beach this small. You can honestly put these houses farther back if you choose to, but I chose this. Um, if anything, just towards the end, make sure it aligns to whatever big building you decide to use. Um, I actually found out something uh, from my last video and it's that not everyone can do the, the little trick where you can put items where they don't belong. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys two different ways to do this. Uh, that way for those PC players that can do this and those that can't, um, you have two different options on how to do this. That way it's not just for the people that can do the trick. Um, so once you have your layout, uh, I'm kind of just adjusting some things, but once you have your layout ready, we're going to place lamps where in front of where the big building is going to go. Like I said, if you place your uh, buildings are a little bit farther back, this might be in a different position for you compared to where I'm going to put it myself. So I started off doing the, the non-hacked version of this, which is basically means you don't have to do that little shake shake thing for, to put where your items where you want them to be. Um, I honestly ended up liking this more than the actual uh, quote-unquote hack version, so feel free to choose whichever. Um, just make sure that it kind of aligns and it leads towards the big building that you're planning to use. And 
now I'm going to show you guys the hack version of this. Um, honestly, the only difference is that these things are straight or horizontal and the bushes are going to go to the side instead of uh, back and forth. Uh, like I said before, you're gonna have a lot of freedom with this build, so don't feel the need to place things where I placed them. It is a beach, so whatever your aesthetics are, you might want to place things differently where I placed them. Um, I will say the only things I want you to place the same as I did are lamps that I'm gonna put down. Uh, aside from everything else, though, like uh, umbrellas and stuff like that, you can honestly place wherever. I'm also gonna be placing down rocks and bushes. Uh, I will say this is uh, probably the only outdoor set that I used. Um, it's only due to uh, looking, because it kind of looks like a stall. And the only thing I do want you to keep track of is uh, where you put the umbrella little uh, piece, because uh, it provides light and that will actually make it look really nice at night. Uh, I chose to put it over here in this corner just due to it um, kind of illuminating this dark corner that didn't have much light as before. And it just looks really good at night. Uh, during the daytime, not so much, but at night, I actually really like how it looks. Uh, right here is actually going to be the one of the first lamps I'm going to put down. Um, I'm going to put it here just so... Um, the place doesn't look dead. Uh, during the nighttime, I noticed that it, the place kind of looked really dead just because there was no lighting. There was nothing to really illuminate anything, so the colors weren't really popping off or anything. So just make sure you place a lamp right there. That's one actually one of the most important ones. That way, this part of the, the build doesn't look so empty. Um, also, going off of the palm trees, um, you can honestly place the palm trees wherever you want. You kind of just want to hide the background, that way it makes it feel like it's an enclosed environment and not like, oh, there's a giant opening in the back, because there is. <laughs> so you kind of want to hide that. Um, like I said before, this is also another thing. For those that can and can't do the trick, you can place the tree there where it's available, or you can do the trick and place it closer to the house. Oh, this is gonna be one of those sections uh it, it kind of does matter where you put the tree i'm um, trying not to put it so far in the middle how i did right there because later on i'm gonna change it anyway uh, we're gonna put some stalls in front of the tree so try and give it more space and put it closer to the building uh, right here i'm gonna start placing down rocks there's no right or wrong way of doing this honestly place them wherever you think it looks good uh, i like to put it just kind of separately that way it looks like the rocks are just randomly got washed up by the ocean or some crap like that <laughs> uh, so yeah there's no right or wrong to, way to do this just place them where you think it looks good um no amount is right either um i just used what i thought looked good um so it's really up to you how many you want to put um just make sure you have kind of uh space them out that way they don't look bunched up in the corner uh, as i said before um you want to make this area feel enclosed that way it doesn't feel like there's a big empty part in the back so what i did is i put this umbrella here and I'm gonna put some boulders in on the side of the house. That way it doesn't feel like there's a giant empty space there. Um, you don't have to do this, honestly. You don't have to use the same boulders as I did. Um, like I said, this flow, it has a lot of load left. So if you wanna place some other things, feel free to. Uh, right here is another optional thing. Um, if you can do the trick, feel free to. If not, just leave the tree and rocks next to each other like this. I personally wanted to make it look like the tree was coming out of the rocks, so I did the trick, but don't feel the need to do this. Like I said, not everyone can do it, and I'm sorry to those non-PC players, mobile players that can't do this, but yeah, if you're able to, feel free to do this. Um, right now, I'm gonna start placing down bushes. Um, you can honestly use any of the three. Uh, I personally use the, the lighter green one and the kind of like deader green one. 
Um, try to put the bushes in corners. Like I said, we want to make this place feel enclosed, but also you kind of want to add a pop of color here and there um, since it is so brown due to the, the sand. Um, I tend to put them in this because I feel like certain corners just needed a pop of color, certain corners just needed a pop of green. Um, you don't have to put it where I put it. Like I said, I guess I, I keep saying this, but I really do mean it. There's a lot of freedom in this. Um, right here, I decided to kind of make it look like the bush was coming uh, from, uh, from underneath the tree. If you can't do the trick, feel free to do this. If not, you can just put it next to it. Uh, right now, I'm going to be placing a lot of um, lightings that will really make this place pop at night. So you don't have to use like, these exact lamps. Um, I use these, but don't worry about the load. You can use other ones as well. I'm going to be using a mixture of these and then the rock ones, as well as uh, street lamps. So... I do want you to put these where I put them just so it makes, uh, it illuminates the right spots at night. Um, you're, for, you're welcome to put them anywhere else, but it's, it's up to you. I, like I said, this is what I like. This is my personal aesthetic preference, whatever you want to call it. Um, just do try and place them um, separately. That way they don't fully illuminate just like one side of the island and then the other side looks just completely dead. <laughs> Um, you're welcome to put more things, but I'm actually really fine with this. I'm just going to be adjusting a few things. Um, if you want to check how it looks at night, you can just change it to the night setting and see if you actually like where I put down the lamps. And if you don't, you can adjust them to put them wherever else you want. Um, but I actually really like where it illuminates. Uh, I feel like the right colors are popping and it's really up to you if you want to put more things or adjust the lamps. Leading into the next path to kind of to get our structure going, you want to start the stone path on the sand, not on the dirt path. Um, you can start it on the dirt if you want, but it kind of looks weird because it's kind of like two different textures on each other. Um, but it's up to you. Um, you can use as many stones as well. I used five or four, I think. And you want to kind of rotate, mix and match them. That way it doesn't look like you just used the same stone over and over again. Uh, in this next path, it's really up to you how far back, how far up front you want to put this. Um, but just kind of make sure uh, the stone path leads to it, but also the corner of the stairs also kind of connects with it. So wherever you put it, it doesn't matter as long as the stone path connects to it and the, the stairs from the house connect to it as well. Um, in this spot, I use these two in zoom in houses. Um, this is the only house that can actually fit in this section unless you do the, the little hack thing and you can place the bigger one to combine it with the tree. But to those non-hacking people, this is what I use. You can place this here. And this second house is the one I used. I put it at an angle and the reason I used it was because it kind of looked like a beach pop-up shop. Um, it's the only one that really looked like a store, so I decided to use this one instead. Uh, once you place your houses down, kind of make it distance it from the stones. That way we have a uh, space to do another uh, lamp little gateway that we did. Um, I'm going to be showing two different versions again, a hack version and a non-hacking version. The only difference is, is one, you can actually put the bushes underneath the lamps and the other ones, you just put them next to it. Uh, that way you guys just have options. Either way looks nice. Um, right here you can honestly place any other thing. I chose to do these plants just because they looked a little bit more tropical and looked like they belong on the beach. I could have used more um, coconut trees, but I decided not to just because that way it doesn't look so repetitive. But also these are pretty big and bulky so it takes up the space and it makes the place look fuller without needing that many items. Um, right here we're going to do the same thing we did with the beach and we're just going to try and make this feel like a closed off section hiding the uglier parts of the build um so right here i'm going to put this double-sided palm tree that way it just hides the back area more uh, later on we are going to put a bush on top of it that way it just hides it even more and behind the house since there's going to be a big building next to it i'm just going to put a palm tree uh, with a giant boulder that way it hides that little area as well 
Oh, this is a completely optional thing. Honestly, uh, I found no way to get around this for those people that can't do the hack. Um, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to combine these two lamps, honestly, just to kind of make it look like a giant lamp that has four sided sections. Um, to those people that can't do this, I'm sorry. Honestly, you're good enough with just one, so don't feel the need to do this. Um, you can honestly place more tables if you want to. They actually don't take up that much load. Um, the only thing I will say is at least make them look messy or like just not straight or whatever. Uh, that way they look like they've been used. That way it just makes them look like people have been there or whatever. Um, that's my only thing. Just make them look messy. Uh, right now we're actually going to get started uh, painting down things on the next to the plaza. That way it looks a little bit more fuller. Um, this one you can honestly place a little bit closer, a little bit farther to the plaza. The only one I really care about is the second one, which is going to be right next to the lighthouse. I will say kind of put it at an angle and not straight. That way it looks like it's leading towards the stairs and kind of connects everything together. Um, and we're actually going to put a stall in front of it. Uh, same thing. If you can hack it, uh, we're going to put the stall underneath the lamps. If you can't hack it, you can honestly just put it in front and it's going to look just as good. Very small thing to those that can't hack it, just make sure the little takoyaki sign is not in front of the lamp or it's not combining. That way it doesn't look weird. Uh, personally, since this is kind of like a festival kind of thing, I did choose stalls that like had lights on them. That way it would just illuminate the place more. You're welcome to use other ones that don't have it, uh, but that's just my personal preference. It's really up to you what you want to do. Uh, right here we're kind of doing the same thing as before we're trying to add ugly little corners with bushes and just trying to make the face the place feel a little bit more closed off that way it doesn't feel like there's a giant section missing um right here you can honestly just place another stall if you want to i chose to do rocks um i felt like if i put a stall there it would just look bad because too much of a good thing is a bad thing so i kind of wanted to make it feel like there's a fresh space of air if that makes sense Uh, I will say surprisingly, this is actually a, a rock you can put back here. You don't have to hack it or anything, thank god. Uh, you just gotta place it in the right spot. If you can't put it, that means your building's a little bit too close or the tree is probably like not in a good section. Completely optional rock though, you really, honestly don't even have to put that there. Uh, so right here I'm just kind of seeing if I wanted to add anything else to the build. Um, I kind of want to add just this red bush somewhere just so it has like a pop color and it's not just green, green, green everywhere. Um, honestly though, we're, we are pretty done with this section. The only thing I will say is the left part of the section, just make sure there's a little opening for the, for the stalls, just because we're going to put that big building and that big building is going to help us section off that part of this section. Um, right here, honestly, you can either use this giant shrine or you can use the giant hotel thing that I used. It's really up to you, um, whether you want to go for a red kind of look or like a darker kind of look that matches the other buildings. Completely up to you though. Um, I will say the only good thing about the red shrine is that you probably don't have to uh, do the trick for it. Um, right here I tried to place this and I noticed it was a little off center, which means that the back building over there, the one, the beachside stall, I have to combine with it. Um, if you can't do the trick, feel free to combine it. It's not a big deal. If you can't do the trick, that means you probably have to scoot everything in your beachfront down a little bit, uh, which isn't honestly not that hard. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys that idea of like, be ready to do that if you didn't space everything correctly. Uh, once you have your building situated, uh, we're just going to try and make the place look a little bit more closed off. Um, if you can't do the trick, you can honestly put the tree there. Makes the background look a little bit fuller. If you can't do the trick, um, put the tree uh, right in front of the building. Uh, that way it just hides the corner a little bit better. Uh, and honestly, aside from this, we're kind of done. Um, we, uh, I'm just kind of like decorating little areas that I feel like a little bit too naked, too empty. Um, honestly, in this little corner, it's kind of hard to decorate without doing the trick. So to those that can do it, 
Uh, congrats to those that can't. I'm so sorry. Um, there's no way for me to really fix this. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you feel the need to add more stuff, honestly, do it. Um, you don't honestly have to add this tree. You could use another tree. I just chose this one because I felt like I had too many uh, non-yellow trees. Uh, but we're honestly done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, this build was really the biggest, most freedom build I ever had. Um, and you can honestly still add more stuff. I only have like 46 items and a yellow build or the yellow load little symbols. So you can honestly add more stuff or even other stuff that I didn't use. Um, so feel free to do it, do that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little beach front, beach festival little thing. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.